body awareness, tuning into your physical cues. Aloha my beautiful ones and welcome to this week's walk and talk. As you can see, weather, you know, weather is a little bit lower but we're still making it. So I hope the rattling of my jacket is not going to be too much. All right, so what are we talking about today? Body awareness. We're still on the topic of awareness. And body awareness is something that I find so important, um, for, especially for us empaths, because, you know, there's so many things that we, you know, we might not trust our thoughts, we might not trust our feelings, but our body can show us so much. And ever since I have learned to tune in further into my own body, it's been amazing what my body tells me and you know how I can deal with anything um, by tuning into you know the physical uh, the physical signs that I get all right so for starters have you ever heard of Louisa Hay Louisa Hay is a wonderful author speaker and I would even say I think even healer I'm not sure if she wears that title but you know, creating that kind of books, she has to have some insight on it. And the beautiful thing is that one of the things that she did was put a book together that has all, a lot of, I think most of the, you know, physical things that can happen to us and showing the emotional side of them. All right, uh, the spiritual side of them, you know, meaning, does it mean, you know, um, depending on what you have, what kind of spiritual or soul purpose might lie behind it. Um, and for those of you maybe in Europe, you might want to find, that's an even bigger book, the one from Rudi Dalke, and he has the book, I think it's Illness as a Symbol. I hope it's been translated into English. I have the German version and it's incredible. And I always look in between both because both of them, you know, might um, interpret certain things a little bit different. Um, and I always say, you know, the middle is where the truth lies. So always use maybe two kinds or even if you know a third one, use a third one as well to see, you know, which topic resonates with you. And just to give you an example, um, for me, um, you know, being, um, let me see, for example, uh, I, think, I think it's Louisa Hay that says when you have lower back pain, a lot of the times it's because you're worrying about money, um, worrying about your existence, right? Um, for ex just to give you an example there, or when you have the flu, a lot of the times, this is something that's, that's been happening that has happened to me for years where, you know, you get this congestion around your nose and it's like your nose is full. And w funnily in German, you know, when you translate it, it's, you know, your nose is full is because you've had it up to here, you're done. It's like something inside of you is done with something. You know, in my case, it was, I was done being that people pleaser. And once I started being more my authentic self, um, it stopped. It's, I'm not saying that I'm not having flus or congestions around here anymore, because you might even hear right now that there's a little bit, but it's not, it's never as bad as it used to be anymore. Um, so that's one form of how you can look at your, you know, your body thinks, oh, see, the sun's coming up. See, maybe because I'm talking to you. So another form, so this is one of the forms, right? To see, to look at your, what you have. Please, disclaimer here, always, those books are not representing a doctor. So please always go to your doctor, you know, with whatever you're feeling. Those books are there to help you understand what you're having, not... They're not being, you know, the healing thing. You're supposed to go to the doctor and, you know, with those kind of things anyway. Um, so that's one of the things. Another thing that I find is also very important is for us um, to tune into our body 
um, because it helps us allow the mind and you know the mind the emotions the thoughts to have a pause all right so this is another beautiful thing for you to become aware actually it's a little mix also of the one that we just had you know making yourself aware of your thoughts because um, I believe that most of our thought emotional emotions are in our body so whenever you can tune into your body to see what you're feeling right now to see what's going on to feel what are you feeling you know what kind of emotion is coming up what is it making you feel how do you feel about that and just you know just make notes for yourself either really in a written book or make notes for yourself you know um in your mind i usually have a like a virtual notebook where i put them in and i really remember them um and so you put them in there and you write them down just to make yourself aware again we're going through this month through awareness because i want you know, I want you to understand that, especially as empaths and highly sensitive, we are so much inside of everybody else's energies that we forget to tune into ourselves, all right? So this is this, and I'm going to show you a practice. Maybe you, some of you might already know it, but this is like the go-to practice to tune into your body um, and just to get yourself into the awareness of your body, all right? So if you wanna see that, come and, come and follow us. Uh, come into my Facebook group, you'll find the link below in the description. In case you don't have Facebook, because I've already heard a couple of you don't, please be a little bit more patient with me. I'm working on a different solution. I just have to see how I'm gonna do that. Because again, I do my work all by myself. I'm the spiritual nerd that does the technical stuff herself. So please give me a little bit more time, but I'm gonna put all of the ones that I'm already talking about that are only going into the Facebook group at the moment are gonna come into a closed membership area. Don't worry, it's a like the Facebook groups. This one's for free as well for you to, you know, choose if you want to and to come in there. Um, yes, so I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much for your being um, and yeah so to come into the Facebook group if you if you want to share want to see the the practices that I offer each weekly sometimes I'm a little bit behind with the practices but I always deliver um, so come and join us there if you'd like and yeah I hope you have a wonderful week and just to to make a quick recap of everything so it's good to tune into your body it's important for you to tune into your body um, so that you make yourself aware of your emotions as well. It's important for you to do that. It's important that you allow yourself to feel what your body's t trying to tell you. So one of the things that you can do is either find the description and the interpretation of illnesses, if it is illnesses, because in the end, when we don't listen, our body starts showing us with showing us in different ways and I think I have to go back um, so in in our our body starts showing us in different ways um, how to you know read into the books look into in different interpretations of what different illnesses mean those can help you to become more aware with your body and just tuning in the fact of tuning into your body, feeling into what your body wants, what your body needs, is going to help you make yourself aware of more things as well. I hope you enjoyed today's walk and talk and I'm looking forward to the next one for next week. And until then, my beautiful soul, have a wonderful, wonderful time and thank you. <laughs>